Alrighty, so today we're working on the 73 bus. Uh, engine had to come out for a couple of reasons. One was, uh, was having a hard time diagnosing a vacuum leak. And then I, in doing that, I ended up uh, dropping a carburetor mounting bolt into the valve, but I couldn't get the manifold off without taking off the tins and tins couldn't come off without getting out of the bus because it was just going to be too much work. So figured it's a good time for a reseal a little bit, throwing some gaskets at it, going to throw new spark plugs, new wires, painted all the tins, painted the exhaust. Um, so yeah, it'll be a good opportunity just to get a once over through it. And let's see, we got dual cadrons on here. Got some new uh, bolts for the cross member to install into the frame. Uh, the old bolts were a mismatch of uh, parts. Uh, I think my main intake leak was coming out of uh, one of these breather lines in between the carburetors. Um, I guess it's a vacuum line. So I think this goes to the brake booster. Uh, so. Yeah, I think one of those is leaking pretty bad because I couldn't get the carbs to sync up. One was sucking way more air than the other one. But uh, currently what I'm doing is cleaning up the engine bay. If we take a look under here, we'll see that there is a lot of dirt and grime, especially on the underside where most of these things leak. So, uh, it's a little bit rusty over there, but it looks mostly like surface rust. Don't know if I want to paint that. Might just leave it as is and treat the rust a little bit. Um, you can see I've installed a new starter. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm just going to go through and clean up some of the uh, oil and grease and yucky in here. That way it's nice when I have to work on it and pull it some other day, I won't be so greasy installing the uh, timing guide here. I also ordered a uh, new, uh, I guess it's a, like the little shroud that goes on the fan here. So should help from keeping, should help make it look more stock one and then also keep like debris and gunk and stuff out of it. So here we are on one of the manifolds. If anyone has any idea how to, uh, E more easily get to these bolts and put these nuts and washers on. Holy moly, that was the main reason I pulled this engine. I just couldn't uh, figure out a good way to get those manifolds off. And you can tell somebody's been in there. Uh, if I shine the light on it. You can tell somebody's been in there and has ground off some of the casting for clearance. I don't know if these are designed for a type one bug motor. I imagine so since type fours are funky. Uh, let me know because it's a pain in the butt. And if I ever have to pull these off, I'd like to, I'd like to know if there's like a, some combination of tools, sockets, wrenches that can get in there and get that. So we got to install this, uh, oil breather. Um, it has a gasket on it. That's pretty old. So I'm going to do the right thing and just, uh, use some of this stuff which is pretty general purpose. I like it, I use it for everything on automotive stuff. And we'll just go ahead and plop that guy down right on here and uh, make sure both surfaces are clean. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that step done. Okay, cool. We got some of that gasket installed. Uh, it looks like a machine did it, CNC'd, perfect. Uh, and this is probably directional. Did I pay attention when I took it off? No. Oh, yes, it goes this way. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember the hose comes off this side. So we're just gonna go ahead and seat that on there. Call that installed. Cool. Here's all the uh, screws that hold the tin on. Uh, they were all full of grease, cause you know, Volkswagen. But uh, I ran them through some acetone to pull that grease off and then just hit them with a uh, brass brush here to clean off the gunk. They, uh, some of them look pretty good, some of them look pretty bad. 
it doesn't matter. They're going to hold the tins on, which is going to be good. Another good thing to check while you have an engine out is, you know, check out your pressure plate. How's your flywheel look? Uh, do you need to replace your clutch? Uh, it's just good to do it while you have the engine out. Because if you have to pull the engine back out, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, I've done none of that. So, but it looks nice. And that's what's important. Cool. So I've got all the tin screws just kind of offered up. Uh, about a quarter, a couple threads in each. And now I can go ahead and button those all up. Now that the tins are on, uh, there's really not much left to do. Um, I'm gonna wait on the carbs because those won't fit until, uh, fit under the bus until the engine's already in. Um, I don't, I'm still waiting on spark plugs, spark wires. Uh, so I think at this point it's pretty much engine bay prep. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up. So here we are in the engine bay before and I'm just going to use a bunch of brake clean and some rags and hopefully the goal is not to make it perfect just to make it not miserable when we're working in here in the future all right so if you remember that corner that's coming out pretty solid uh I do think it's going to be difficult to do some of the uh cleaning where the metal's gone just because, you know, the metal isn't there. Uh, so I think I have an idea for what I'm gonna do there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that looks a lot better than that. And uh, we're just working our way around. This is all original paint, so I don't know. Like, it's rusty in some, in some regard, but like, I kind of like it. It's like trustworthy rust. We haven't gotten over here yet, but I don't know. We'll come right back and then we'll see uh, see what my next idea is. Okay, so it is coming along. Uh, it is, brake cleaner really is the best overall cleaner, paint cleaner even. Um, so I think I'm gonna hit this with a shot vac really quick and then you'll see what I have in mind. That rust on the battery tray is concerning because it will eat through the body on the outside. Um, so I probably do need to treat that. Um, but, eh, the, the bottom tray definitely needs it replaced, but I have an idea. Cool, so my idea is this. We're gonna put some self tappers in it and put a license plate over it. Awesome, so we got that done, and I think that looks pretty good compared to where we started. You wanna make sure you don't use too many uh, self tapper is I only used three to hold that plate on and yeah, you can see there's still a bit of a Speed hole coming through there, but now I think it's time we clean up some of this uh, wiring and this one is really important because it goes nowhere so Yeah, awesome. So we ran out of a our engine bay uh, paint cleaner um, so that's as far as we got there. Fortunately, I can pull out the battery while the engine's still in there and clean all this goody, clean all this up. So uh, for the most part, I feel like the engine bay is uh, brand new. Didn't get to the lower part. Just gonna pretend that we did. And uh, yeah, it's a lot less bad, worser. Sweet, so it definitely feels like this is the part of the night where we can toss this puppy back in here and uh, got some more tins painted. Um, yeah, feels like we're about there. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it cause I'm gonna be wrestling it like an absolute maniac. I have one jack that is not big enough to actually lift up the van by itself. So got some wood there. Uh, just need to get this slid underneath here, which it should be able to do no problem. And then 
it's gonna be a wrestling match. So that'll be great. And we'll see if I can do it. Alrighty, so got the engine underneath the uh, bus. Got the block sitting on a wood block. Gonna slide the old jack underneath there and uh, pray to God that we can actually align some things here because we are not even close. All right, so it's the next day. Um, wasn't able to figure out how to get the engine back in. So I'm using some jack stands, some wood blocks, two jacks. Uh, we're getting close. Just keep slowly wiggling it up and uh, we're at least in the realm of being installed here. So yeah, just gonna keep on working on it and uh, maybe do a little time lapse now. Well, I fought with that for entirely too long, but uh, starting to get the bell housing bolts on and uh yeah i'm gonna have to do some uh touch up paint on the uh fan housing there but considering where we started this is a much nicer improvement in terms of engine bay so yeah now it's gonna be a, a matter of hooking things up bolting some things on i uh, gotta reconnect some wiring i just cut it instead of uh disconnecting it um that's the alternator wiring uh so I'll have to splice that back together and then have to try and remember how all my uh, PVR wiring went. So we're just going to guess and hopefully we don't burn this thing down to the ground. So yeah, let's keep working on it and see how it goes. So got the bell housing bolts tightened up. Uh, threw on the carburetors. Uh, now I'm just working on getting the uh, balance tube between the two of them. Uh, working out linkages. Gonna put off that wiring to the last minute. Uh, still gotta throw the uh, engine base seal in here. Um, what else do we got? We got... The parts are coming off the bench. So we got the, like I said, the balance tube, front engine tins, that'll be good. And then, yeah, really just whittling down the list here. Got the oil filler tube still to throw on there, but coming along. All right, so a little bit more progress coming in. We got our new spark plug wires. Uh, guessing on some of this stuff here. Uh, got the fuel lines all hooked up. Got new spark plugs installed. Let's just uh, see if we can get this thing cranking. Had to uh, splice in all the electrical connections there. Just hook the battery up. So let's give it a turn and see what happens. There's the fuel pump priming. All right, well, it fired. It sounded bad, but it fired. So we'll work on that. Alrighty, so a couple days later, again, uh, had to remember how all this linkage went together. The accelerator cable was caught in the Bowen tube on the back backside, um, just above the transmission. And then I pulled the slack through on that. And then it had, it had come, uh, it had kind of gotten jammed up in the front. Uh, up underneath uh, the, I guess it's the spot where the accelerator cable connects to the uh, throttle pedal. I got a Buddy Bits uh, linkage adapter there. Just allows for a much smoother uh, pedal feel. So now that we got cables hooked up and we got uh linkage is hooked up i think i think it should run um we're gonna have to dial in the carbs a bit here but let's go ahead and give it a crank got a cold cold morning this morning so oh yeah she's going 
All right, so now it's gonna be down to some carb tuning and that'll be fun. Hopefully we have solved our intake leak issue. So after a little bit of tuning and uh, hooking up with a brake booster, uh, it's time to just let this engine cook a little bit, let all these paints cook in, and uh, we're just gonna let it idle for a little bit. So let's see if it'll fire up nice now. You pump. So got the engine back in still looks like it needs a little bit of tuning work, but overall got the paints uh, the tins painted got the new spark plugs new wires uh, Three new vacuum lines at this thing. So uh, a Couple more hours of tuning and then probably have it out on the road. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time